if we're doing this, then what we want is to stick, stick something to the top over everything as we scroll. So that's kind of handy. Do we want the title information to always be there? So if we take that more simple example, if we take that more simple example and we'll save it in the class site and we can call it index in progress .html. So I'm going to replace this index with my other index when I'm done. But for now, it's in progress. And I will finish their example that they placed. OK, so this was the sticky example on W3Schools. It's very, very simple, more simple than that tutorial. So if I can reproduce this just here, then I can um, continue with my web page. Except I can't pull this into Firefox. Too many windows, my friends. Oh, and I can't scroll it because it's so short. It's way too short. Okay. Let's see. So, how much lorem ipsum do we need? Okay, quite a bit of lorem ipsum. Put it in here. So now I can hopefully see the page. And it sticks. Okay, great. So now I want to test my sticky navigation bar with the navigation bar that I have on my web page. Mm. And here, I'll take this out and put back what I had. Okay, so just content-wise, I'm going to take this, put it in here. Okay, fantastic. But this isn't uh, working for us because now we don't have any of the other things that we had on our page. So let me take this. So now I'm copying this and I'm putting this back in here. And instead of having it be in this menu container, I'll have it be in this class sticky. And then we can copy this class sticky. Yes, and put it above next to our menu. And this can go away since it did not work. Okay, now we have a giant sticky menu bar. It's not a uh, not a great design choice. <laughs> the big yellow um, 
and pink text is not super fantastic, but we it is there every time. So now when I click to the syllabus, it should, in theory, there we go, it has clicked to the syllabus. When I click on the class notes, we can get to the class notes. But we really, really need to make this not be so giant so that we can actually read what we're doing. Mm. So let's look at this. This is, uh, this is me removing uh, bullets. Nope. We want this. We just don't want... Aha. We don't want this. We want this, hopefully. My Firefox like, feels like it's going to crash. Nope, it doesn't like inline. A little smaller. It still has a kind of an absurd amount of padding on it. But that's that's a little better. <laughs> Aha, there we go. This is so slow. I'm going to restart my computer after our class is over. Okay, a much more reasonable menu situation. Um, and just in keeping with our color scheme, how about we do background color? Or if we If we want to take a specific color, um, W3Schools has the best color picker. I love it so much. Where we can pick a color and let's say something light, this one. And you can find exactly the color you need. Let's see if this is much better. Okay, so now we can jump around from web page to web page. Now, the question, or sorry, from section to section. Now, there is a question of like maybe we also want to jump around from section to section on within each section. So maybe we want to do something like in the assignments um, page, we would also have a menu or in the syllabus page that we would have a secondary menu once you get into that section, not page, section. So then you might change the way this layout is represented by doing something like this. So we're saying that the syllabus contains the description the lecture topics and the textbook. It contains all of these things. Um, and then that we would also have a menu there. Like a submenu. And if we wanted to make it sticky, we would say that we have a sticky submenu above all these things. So then we would repeat the process 
per section or per page if I separated these out into pages. So that's one way of thinking that you can do around your web page. Um, and since you already kind of have web pages, uh, a good exercise for the upcoming homework assignment might be to analyze your web page and kind of like write, all, write out all the things that are in there and the relationship that they have to each other and then think about how you might want to replicate that for the next web page that you'll be building.